Hey you guys, welcome back to Mayfeld Ranch. My name is Katie and today I'm going to show you harvesting my rattlesnake pole beans. Today I'm going to show you harvesting my rattlesnake pole beans. So I'm going to insert some clips in this video to show you just when I planted them. I'm going to show you what they look like throughout the growing season. And today I'm going to show you what kind of a harvest we're getting from them. So come on along. Hey you guys. So what I'm out here in the garden doing today is I decided I'm going to come out and just put a few of our green bean seeds in the ground. So we have some rattlesnake green beans. So today's Easter. We have some plans, we have family coming over, things like that. So I don't have too much time to spend out here, but I did just wanna come out and do a couple of things. So I'll take you over and show you how I'm doing that. It's very simple. I'm just gonna put a tiny little trench into the ground, throw the seeds in there, cover them up with some dirt. Okay, so I'm trying to get you guys a good angle. All I'm doing is I'm just putting kind of a little trench, if you will, or indentation in the ground so I could put the seed in and it should just do fine on its own. So. I'm gonna throw a couple of seeds in along the way here. And hopefully they'll just grow. Get these things covered up. And hopefully they'll sprout for us and it'll work out good. Okay, so this is what it looked like on May 8th. So we had the beans, they were sprouting. There's a few weeds in here, you can ignore that, but it's been 21 days since we planted those seeds and this is what it's looking like in the garden. Our little bean plants look really good. Okay, so this is the next update. This is on May 21st and you can see the plants look really good. They look really healthy. This has been 34 days since we planted the seeds and they're growing right along. So this is June 18th. The plants are quite a bit bigger. It's been 62 days since we planted the seeds. And here it's July 12th, a quite a bit of growth over that period of time. Now this has been 86 days, so these plants are very mature. So I planted these on Easter this year. We're up here in Northern California. So we planted these on April 17th, 2022. It's been exactly 98 days since I planted these rattlesnake pole beans and we're out here to get our first harvest today. Now in fairness, I think I could have harvested these a few days ago, but today's the first opportunity. So probably 95 days would have been just about perfect. And on the packet, it says between 60 and 90 days. So I'm gonna get in here and pick some of these beans. Let me try to show you what they look like when they're ripe. They have this variegated color. That's how you can tell they're ready to pick. So as I got harvesting this, and I'm kind of down here in the bottom where the beans are, I'm noticing so many beans that I just didn't see before. So I should have taken a closer look because if you keep harvesting the beans, it'll produce more. So there are beans that have been on here a little while. So I'm getting quite a bit actually down here near the bottom. So just keep that in mind if you're growing these pole beans, just keep an eye on them. You know, do what I say, not what I do. I'm out here doing quite a big harvest today, but I really could have probably gotten some of these a week or two ago. Okay, you guys, I'm barely getting started and I'm already getting so many beans from this a tiny little spot. But what I did want to share with you is our average temperature. I'm out here enjoying my iced coffee this morning, trying to get out here early before it gets hot. So in case you're in a different climate than us, our average temperature, so like I said, I planted these in April on Easter, so around April 17th. The average temperature in April for the second two weeks is around 75 degrees. And May, it goes up to 80 degrees, June around 90, and then July 95. So it's been over 100, like 106 recently. So I'm trying to get out here and just get this done super early, get this all harvested, and I'll show you how much we get. So I have little friends that come to see me when I'm picking the garden. They want a snack. Come on, Ma. You want a snack, Mama? So we're growing these rattlesnake pole beans out in our, what I call our animal garden. 
And the way that this is designed is this arch trellis reaches over and is connected to the fence where the donkeys have access to that area. So as these pole beans grow, once they reach the fence where the donkeys can reach them, the donkeys keep these trimmed right up, right to the edge of that fence, and they're always getting a snack whenever they want it. So it's a pretty neat way to do it. The donkeys like to be out here and get treats whenever I'm working in the garden. And just on the other side of me to the right is where our goats are. So they're also out with chickens and Charlie to get snacks whenever we're working in the garden. If you notice once in a while, this cattle panel trellis where the beans are will just shake. It's because the donkeys are pulling a little bit off the end and it ends up just pulling the vines. It doesn't seem to cause any trouble. They just eat the part they can reach and we all share. So it works out great. Okay, my babies always want snacks. So let's see if they like these. I haven't given them green beans before. Mama, wanna try it? She's not usually the best trier. Gunner, you wanna try it, Bobby? Mama. Hey, Gunny, you wanna try? Oh yeah, Coco likes it. Gunner, do you want one, Bobby? Mama, don't be so mean. Eat it if you want to eat it, otherwise let baby have it. Okay, Gunner took one. Come here, Cora. Come here, my baby. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys see that, but everyone took one except for Mama. So I wanna to try to give you just a closer look at what the plant looks like and what the flowers look like. It's a super pretty vining plant. Here's the flowers. They're like a vibrant purple color. It's so pretty. I really love having this out in the garden, even just for the beauty of it beyond the food that it's producing for our family. So it's just loaded with purple flowers. And here's the best part, I think, of growing it on a trellis. All the beans just hang down. They're easy to see. They're easy to harvest. They're very pretty. So this is by far the best way. I like to grow pole beans. It's so much easier to harvest on this side. So I'm just gonna set my, my bowl's pretty, it's getting like maybe almost half full, not quite from the other side, a little harder to pick over there. I'm gonna set it on the ground and show you why I love this arch trellis. It is so easy, you could just get underneath it. Now admittedly, if this was just a tiny bit taller where I could stand up straight, that would be a little bit nicer. Uh, it's a little shy just because this was the size of cattle panel that we had left, so we just made do with what we had. But it is so easy to just get in here harvest these beans you can see them now I'm pulling them even if they're a little bit small just because I get out here about once a week to do this so the better I keep these picked and admittedly I should have been out here actually even sooner to get these guys but the better I keep these harvested the more they're gonna produce for me well sometimes I break some of the plant off and the good news is I got a couple assistants out here, really happy to just help me out with that. Nothing is going to waste around here. So I am just kind of hunched down in here squatting, trying to pick all these. It's definitely easier when you can stand up and your arch trellis is a couple of feet above your head, just about the perfect length where you could reach easily without having to bend. That's the perfect setup. I'm just gonna check and make sure I kinda got everything that I can see. If there's any I missed, I'm just gonna use those for seed because I wanna save seed anyways. So let me show you what this harvest looks like. I got a huge bowl of green beans. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching us grow these rattlesnake pole beans and hopefully it gives you an idea of how long it takes to grow. Please leave me a comment and let me know your favorite recipe for green beans.